What's up Android fans, my name is Saurabh Bajaj and today I'm gonna showcase how to install a custom ROM on your rooted Android phones. So this is hell simple. So right now I'm in my recovery. How I, w how I went into this is by just by pressing the down key with the power button. So that way I reboot into the bootloader. From there I select the recovery option. Now this may be different on different devices. Right now I'm using the TWRP recovery. So what all you need to do is first get on to wipe. Get on advanced wipe and wipe everything except for the SD card. So just don't wipe the SD card, okay? And click on swipe. It's gonna take a bit a little time, you know, cause the my SD card is about 2 GB. So that way it, it will take a bit of time. Yo, there I go. So that's white. Click back. Now there is this bar for factory reset. So this would wipe your cache and your Dalva cache. So just click there, swipe to factory reset. There you see your user data and your cache. Yeah, I'm sorry, it's your user data and your cache. there you go boom see it's all done now get back now what you need to do is you will have to transfer your ROM from your computer or your laptops to your uh, I mean yeah to your phone you can do it through the recovery you can just click on mount and mount your USB storage that way you could just you know you will get your SD card onto your computer and you can just transfer the zip or you can you know just uh, uh, you know take out the memory card and then you know just put put the zip and the g apps into the into your memory card and then do well it's your choice whatever you, you know feel easier i feel doing the mount usb storage now right now i have my uh, i have my rom and the g apps in my SD card already there I transferred it so beforehand so right now I'm gonna click on install and there I go I have the CM10 and I have the G app so click on CM10 you could add more just click on add add more zip and you could simultaneously add G apps but I prefer doing it you know, doing it one by one you know so that way I'll just click here I'll just swipe this This is gonna approximately take about 45 seconds to 1 minute 15 seconds. So that way you need to be a bit a little patient. So it's flashed. Now just click on wipe cache Dalvik and just swipe to wipe. You know it's just a precautionary measure to swipe the cache and the Dalvik after flashing the ROM. Now get on home, click install and choose the G apps and just click swipe to wipe. Swipe to flash. You know. It takes pretty less time because mine is the super stripped version. So it's just about 17 or 18 MB. Okay, now the important part is do not click on wipe cache dialwake after flashing the G apps, you know, else it will just give you a boot loop. What next? Reboot system. And boom, you're all set to go. So you just flashed a custom, custom ROM. So, you know, there I get my STC boot screen as the splash screen actually so the phone is gonna boot up so that was how to install a custom ROM hope you guys like my video thanks for watching it do like my video and you got any questions any queries about you know Android or rooting any stuff you can just comment down below and subscribe to my channel for, for more of my stuff thanks for watching it once again 
see it's booting.